resistance and a low melting point. So and under this cover, a small en enclosure you can see here that is made up of the brass end cap. The biometal thermal control is available here and fuse link contacts. So there are two fuse link contacts. This is the outer element, fuse element, cartridge type and filling powder is there. So this kind of uh, fuse we refer as a cartridge type where this is the mechanism of the fuse. One more fuse you can see here that is a semiconductor type of fuse where inside there is a controlling through the semiconductor. If we further talk about the uh, miniature circuit breaker MCB which is nothing but one of the advanced version of the circuit breaker. In another sense this is an advanced fuse where if you uh, talk about the function of MCB you can just check here the miniature circuit breaker MCB is an, an electromechanical device which operates and disconnects the circuit when the current reaches a predetermined value. So here if there is a, a value of current is very high once it reaches to predetermined value automatically this electro mechanical switching system will open up and once it open this switch that means the rest of the part of the contact where all the home appliances or all the appliances are connected that can be saved. So to secure our household appliances to heavy electrical short circuit or overload current MCB is used. There are two types of MCB we can use one is based on a thermal for normal overload protection and magnetic for short circuit protection. So you can see here the complete function of MCB where there is a metal strip here so you can see this is a bi metal strip is available where there is a flow of current in a one of the circuit ha ha having the heating resistance now in this uh, terminology when current is passing through this heating resistance one the current reaches to its predetermined value or it's a overload current or sometimes it is a short circuit in that condition we we define one more mechanism where this bimetal strip is connected with the spring mechanism and here the spring end is connected with the one of the contacts and one contact is connected with the load and another contact is connected with the source right so by this is one of the switch right so during the overload condition or high heating condition this spring is going to elongate and this bimetal is going to be stripped and once it's going to be stripped is automatically this contacts will be open so you can see here uh, during this time there is a heating resistance so you can see there is a heating resistance where the high current or a short circuit current flows so based on this my metal strip is going to be stripped through this uh, spring mechanism where this particular uh, context would be open so here uh, there is no connection between source to load you can consider there is no connection from source to load by this way your appliances can be saved in this uh, particular mechanism of the MCB right so now if you talk about the further diagram of the mcb where you can see this is the uh, line voltage which is coming through here so here current will be passing through like this particular magnetic element and then it will flow like this when connected to load now this is a normal operation when let us say uh, that there would be a high value of current which is passing through this line that means that can be uh, measured by this uh, magnetic circuit and once it's measured by this magnetic circuit that completely this will be tripped uh, so this is this this mechanism is connected to the trip bar and this strip bar is now uh, jump over this bi metal strip and by that way uh, here there is a uh, there is a, there is a connection so this connection would be open and by that way this is same functionality we have just discussed and this uh, this will be this load will be detached this line and by that way you can save your home appliances so this is a complete mechanism where one end is connected with the source and another end is connected with the load so let us say this is connected with the source and this wheel is connected with the load so by that way this is a magnetic circuit where in a high current value situation this this switch will be tripped off as per this is called the biometal uh, strip right so this is what the functionality of MCB. Now, what is here important? Uh, what should be the comparison between the fuse and MCB? Why now in today's world we are only using about the MCB? Now, no more we are using the fuse because there are some of the advantage over uh, some of the advantage of MCB over a fuse. So here it is. If, if we talk about the fuse and then MCB, just discuss about this comparison where. It is used to break the current in the faulty condition only, but MCB is one more 
and an advantage is like it is used to make and break the circuit in the healthy condition and to break current at the time of fault so this is only at the time of fault uh, that can occur and uh, you can also the time of fault right so this you you, you require a high maintenance but this does not require a high maintenance now operating time is very less here operating time is more breaking capacity is less here breaking capacity is much high uh, operation is simple here this operation is complicated because uh, spring then uh, magnetic circuits uh, then bimetal strips all this mechanism are available so that mechanism is quite complicated right and cost is very less but here the cost is very high so uh, but over the operation wise the operating time is uh, more and breaking capacity is much much high so here we prefer to go for mcb one of the advanced version of or uh, one of the type of uh, circuit breaker is called mccb which is called uh, molded case circuit breaker a type of electrical protection device that can be used for a wide range of voltages and frequencies both for 50 and 60 hertz the main distinctions between molded circuit and miniature circuit breaker our mccb can have current rating up to 2500 ampere so it can go uh, sometimes uh, up to 3000 ampere so it has a high uh, current rating and its strip setting are normally adjustable mccb are much larger than the mcb so it has also a kind of microprocessor based mccb is also available it is more automatic and that is available in this kind of mold a uh, molded case so this outer body is a molded case where you can see this is a extra uh, display is available here so this mechanism is quite uh, complicated and very advanced so that's why this is referred as a molded uh, case circuit breaker where an mccb has three main functions one is the protection against the overload protection against the electrical fault and switching a circuit on and off right now one more type of uh, Uh, circuit breaker we define uh, in terms of the electric shock when the, when the current which is flowing is the outer body of any uh, high voltage device and any human body is going to touch those or that body in that case the human body can experience a shock that is we define as electric shock so in which condition we use the circuit breaker uh, this is one of the condition where if you talk about the electric shock then the nervousness of the human body is due to a sudden passage of electric current through the body is known as electric shock so uh, if you if you, if you can see here the electric shock depends on the following parameters the electric shock depends on the following factors like magnitude of current flowing through the body time of which the current flowing through the body frequency of the current flowing through the body as well as the physical condition of the body of the person so this electric shock can be eliminated earth leakage circuit breaker elcb so here we consider an elcb is a safety device used for install installing an electric device with high earth impedance to avoid the shock right so here that particular electrical device is connected to directly earth and that earth will provide the low impedance path so the main purpose of earth leakage circuit breaker elcb is to stop damage is to stop the damage to humans and animals due to the electric shock right so here there are two types of uh, elcbs are available one is voltage operated elcb and another one is a current operated elcb right so let us say one example we'll see Uh, under the current operated elcb where this is a line uh, current and this is a neutral line for any of the line like rvb where the current is passing through here let us say this particular line will carry the current i1 and that i1 current is now flowing through the load right and that is coming back in terms of the i2 and which is passing through the this uh, neutral line so now what happen when Uh, there is a mechanism of circuit breaker and this particular transformer see you can see the shape of transformer that transformer we consider as a current transformer and that transformer is continuously sends the input current i1 so the one of the uh, current which is flowing through this coil is i1 and also major the another current which is flowing through this coil is i2 
right so mechanism is normally closed when the value of i1 and i2 is same that means there is no fluctuation in this particular line throughout this closed path right but what happen when the some portion of current i1 is passing through the this body of this load where you are going to touch a human body is going to touch in that condition the the back current i2 will be very very less than 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 that of the i1 why because most of the current will be passing through this uh, outer body in this condition if see i1 is greater than i2 consider the normal condition when i1 is i2 see that condition is a normal condition where it, where there is no job of the circuit breaker but when i1 is not equal to i2 maybe it is a i1 greater than i2 or i1 less than i2 in that condition this tripping coil will be active and in this condition this current transformer is going to measure the uh, difference of uh, current i1 and i2 and immediately it will trigger this coil and by triggering this coil this circuit breaker will open this uh, uh, main switch right so if this open this main switch in that case the your appliances or you, uh, the, any human body can be saved using this earth leakage circuit breaker right so this is the basic example throughout this circuit you can understand the function of elcb let us discuss about the types of the wire so so this is like one of the phase where you need to understand the uh, the different types of circuit breaker now obviously we also need to understand different wires and cables those are involved in a electrical installation so let us first start with the uh, types of wire which is defined as a uh, vulcanized india rubber wire so in this type of wires conductors are made up of aluminum or copper so this inner conductors are made up of copper or aluminum a layer of vulcanized rubber is provided so you can see here these are the rubbers and there may be one or two layers so over this a cotton tap so this is a cotton tap wound and uh, braiding of uh, impregnated cotton is wound over it so you can see this is a impregnated over it and this type of wire is used in uh, casing capping and uh, conduct wiring also little used in nowadays so uh, we are not much using as this is uh, protection by the uh, india rubber so now uh, one more type of wire if you Uh, discuss so that type is called CTS or TRS, which is defined as cap tire sheet or uh, tough rubber sheet wire. So in this type of wire, a layer of strong and durable rubber is provided over it, so that increases the mechanical strength uh, than that of the DIR wire. Effect of heat, moisture, water is less on it. So this type of wire is available in varieties of uh, single, twin cores or multi core wires. it is used in house wiring and industrial wiring one more type of uh, wire we define here which is called uh, weather proof wire now on this type of wire there is no effect of atmosphere so a layer of rubber is provided on copper conductor braiding of cotton is provided on this and it is made uh, it is made waterproof by dipping it into a water uh, proof comb so this type of wire is available in a single core or dual core types uh, and an outer sheath you can see here outer sheath is inflammable uh, so not used in casing capping uh, is inflammable so not used in casing capping type wiring uh, the places where this is inflammable uh, inflammable materials are not available so where there is a cause of firing where we cannot use this kind of uh, uh, cable or wires so it is used in service connections Uh, nowadays uh, uh, this use is very limited but uh, one of the important wire now we can consider as a pvc wire like all we are using which is a polyvinyl chloride wire so in this type of wire insulation made of polyvinyl chloride which uh, is provided over copper and aluminum conductor so all this is a pvc where in, uh, it is also uh, weather proof as well as uh, not inflammable uh, cables so nowadays we all are using a pvc wires right now further if you talk about the cables you can see here uh, these are the core part where conductors are available and there are different layers of the uh, cable where the second layer we define as the insulation layer third layer we define as the lead sheet fourth is batting fourth is, uh, fifth is armoring and the last layer we define as a serving so one by one we'll discuss about the functionality of this where the core is 
nothing but the function of core is to carry the current so here this conductor will carry the current over this there is a insulation is provided to protect this core and which is a single uh, core cable and between the conductors and earth uh, in a multi core cable so there are also one uh, core is also available for the earth the different types of insulations are used like paper varnished rubber oil paper pvc uh, metallized etc uh, metallized etc are used for the installation in same way in a metallic sheet you can consider uh, that will give the protection over the moisture so moisture is the major enemy of insulation so your dielectric strength of insulation decreases when the moisture enters uh, into the insulation should be seen that the moisture does not enter the insulation so for this sheet uh, of lead or lead alloy is provided over the insulation so sometimes this sheet is provided of aluminum when the core is made up of copper right so uh, that we required for the moisture protect same way the bidding is used to protect the sheet from mechanical damage type of jute is wound over the sheet armoring armoring is used to protect the cable from mechanical damage for this two layers of steel tap two layers of galvanized steel wires are wound over the bedding and a uh, last layer is being defined as a serving so this layers for jute are provided over the armoury which is called the serving right uh, thank you dear students so this is all about the circuit breaker as well as uh, wires and cables right if you have any doubt you can write in a comment